Hello, and welcome to my video on how to make a wind chime from Osage Orange. Here is me just cutting the stick. I was using a rubber mallet to tighten my vise, because it doesn't hold very steady. Excuse me. Yeah. Wish I had some music saved to my phone so I could play it during these. But I don't. Which sucks. And there's the piece I'm going to cut my pieces out of. And I also use this piece to make a bunch of other stuff. Just showing you a piece of hedge. Or osage orange. Before I actually cut the pieces out, I squared it up a little bit. Just so I had four square with each other sides. Just showing you the green. And I had to use that to even it up because there were some... um burrs sticking up from where the blade wasn't quite um, tall enough to reach all the way up. So I had to cut those, with, or not cut, but shave those with the rasp. And there I'm cutting it in half, so I get two blocks. I'll cut it into fours in a second. And you don't see it, but I cut a small piece off which is the first chime this is just me cutting the ends off of those two pieces to flush them out or even them up make them the same length and square and everything just showing the wood again I don't know why I always show it That's bad. I shouldn't have done that. I should have shut the blade off before removing those. That was stupid. I thought I edited all the spots that weren't me doing anything out. Well, oops. There we go. And I'm trimming up the other side. And I'm just watching my video while you guys do too. So, and there I'm cutting it in half. I missed a couple steps and I had to redo them with other pieces. And then I didn't get a video of, or a clip of me cutting the chimes out of these blocks. But you'll be able to see what. The steps in between are. It's pretty obvious. Sorry about that though. I'll make another video if requested with those steps. And here's cutting. Well, you'll see what this piece turns into. Gotta be extremely careful cutting pieces that are too big for your table saw. And I use the wire brush because to get in the grooves on the live edge without, like, actually damaging the live edge, you use a wire brush to clean it up. And here I'm cutting the center piece out. Well, you can't even tell. Man, I need a... Better camera, so I, I 
I need a camera instead of a phone. Oh, this is me cutting the edges off of that piece. So it's, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, this is going to be the chimes. Sorry, I started editing this earlier and then waited to do the voiceover till very last. I'm forgetting the order I put these clips. <laughs> ADHD for you. And by the way, that blade is at an angle. You can't really see it, but it's at an angle, so it just shaves off the corners of that piece. I should have put the camera or the phone um, in, or not in front, but downwind of the saw so you could see from a different angle. There, I turned the blade back. Lifted it up a bit more. And guys, this is the best I can do is voiceover. If I try too hard, I just get anxiety. And believe me, it's much worse. You wouldn't want to listen to that. So I just try to relax and talk through the video. Just so you actually have something to listen to instead of just watching it with no sound. I assume this is better. I don't know. You tell me. And here I'm drilling the hole to make it an actual chime. And that bit was really grabbing that osage orange. I had to get vice grips to hold it. Because it about twisted out of my hand. Osage is a dense wood and um this is a metal cutting drill bit so um it cuts down really well but it doesn't really shave the inside of the hole very well so it's tight as it goes in the deeper it drills the tighter the bit gets in there and the more friction Also, that Osage orange wood is so hard and old and brittle that the shavings, oh, and dry, that the shavings, when I grabbed those and crunched them up, they literally turned into powder in my hand from just the pressure of my hand pressing on them, too. It just grinds those shavings into powder. And there it did grab it out of my hand. And there I'm trying to twist it off the bit. Sorry for stating the obvious. I'm playing with the sawdust at that point. Ah, there I got the vice grips. Going again. But that's the only bit this size I had. Oh, I should have. Uh, I put the sanding part in the wrong order. I sanded those um, chimes for a long ass time to finish up the um, shape of them and then to actually get them polished up nice and pretty. Here I'm sanding the center knocker thing, I guess is what you would call it, that knocks against the chimes. That's what that little piece turns into. You'll see. This all makes sense when it goes together.
if you didn't see the finished product product before you watch the video if you saw it then it's probably making sense now <laughs> and here's me sanding the um piece before i drill a hole in it there's one squarish one one kind of sort of geometric one and one kind of sort of round it's or kind of weird angle. On here, I'm just buffing them with beeswax. Get them nice and shined up. And that's beeswax from one of my beehives. I just um, smash the white comb, the brand new comb, and squeeze it together into a ball. And then I just use it as is. I don't melt it or filter it or anything. So there's a little bit of propolis and all sorts of stuff in it. It's really good for the wood, though. Really, really good. The propolis is good. Like, that's why I use it like this. It's all those extra stuff. It's not pure filtered beeswax. It has a lot of natural preservatives in it. But it's still, it's a really thin coat on the outside of the wood because osage orange is dense and it doesn't absorb very much. So if you buy this, you might want to um, put another layer on every once in a while. And also, Osage Orange darkens with age, and I do not think there is a way to stop it, really. And I know beeswax won't, so this will turn almost completely black. Even though they're, like, beautiful and kind of orangish yellow now, these were, like, bright yellow when they, um, when the tree first died. But anyway, after the tree dies, the wood starts to darken. Ah, and you saw my socks. Those were the only socks that were <laughs> in the drawer this morning. And here I'm putting her all together. I'm using the wire to push the um, cord through the holes in the chimes. Yeah. There's the finished product. And there's my um TikTok. I'm gonna take all the um strings off and um replace them because those knots are terrible. Anyway. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and if you enjoyed, like and subscribe!